सिर्फ उस मानव की रचना की जो आज इस मंच पर विराजमान है बल्कि जो स्वयं चीफ पेट्रन है ऐसे आदरणीय सत्या भल्ला जी मंच पर विराजमान भारतेंद्र जी उत्तर प्रदेश से सांसद आपके विधायक विपुल जी मंचस्थ सभी महानुभाव और आज इस सभागार में उपस्थित विशेष रूप से देवियों को इंटरनेशनल वेमेंस डे की सर्वप्रथम हार्दिक शुभकामनाएं प्रेषित करती हूँ और सज्जनों को प्रणाम करती हूँ कुछ सज्जन इस अपेक्षा में थे कि हमें क्यों नहीं वेमेंस डे की बधाई दी है एक्चुअली अगर महिला से पूछो तो हर डे इज नॉट लिमिटेड टू ओनली दिस वुमेंस डे एवरी डे फॉर हर is not only filled with challenges but also opportunities so for women like me at least every day is women's day <laughs> my heartfelt congratulations to all the women achievers who came to this their dog of learning to the men in the audience today the young ones not the ones who are experienced i say this the only expectation that your female colleague your mother your sister <coughs> or possibly your own daughter will have a few is this treat them no different respect them for who they are what they are don't look at them from a different prism and never said ki tum ladki ho to ye nahi kar paoge that is one of the biggest irritant for any woman हमारी भलाई के लिए कह रहा हूं दे आर सब मैन उसे कि तुम्हें चोट ना पहुंचे इसलिए कह रहा हूं एंड टू दोज मैन माय अपील इज दिस वेमेन आर बोर्न इन सर्टम स्टैंसेस दैट आर चैलेंजिंग फॉर मेनी बट दे डू नॉट डिफाइन देयर डेस्टिनी विद दोज स्ट्रगल्स दे ओवरकम दोज स्ट्रगल्स एंड डिफाइन देमसेल्व्स with the small victories that come their way every day to the girls who are getting ready to have a new phase of life i have no advice to give you but i only have words of encouragement every decision you take in life is a consequence that you will bear yourself no matter how many shoulders come forth for you to lay your head and try on no matter how many conciliatory words people might have for you ultimately on this journey ahead it is you who console yourself you who pick up yourself and you who march ahead so on this women's day i wish you a life not only full of expectation as it is today but a life filled with opportunity so that you can turn every opportunity that comes your way into not only a success story for you but also for your loved ones and on this journey i wish that every girl that you encounter is a girl a woman who is empowered to fulfill her destiny with a little nudge from you to all the teachers who are amongst us today i think the biggest compliment to any teaching institution is when your students come back to you with pride come back to you and when they are awarded by you like i saw satya ji pat a girl on her back who has achieved much in the world has a kind word for you and says thank you for it is a reflection not only of the students own parivarik sanskar but it's also a reflection of the heritage and the culture that you have intertwined your student with so every student who has come on stage today to receive the salutations from your institution is a reflection of your own success as an institution my compliments, my compliments to not only the academic staff who has taught these girls to achieve much in life not only to the families of these girls who have possibly supported them when they least expected and said go ahead live your dream 
but my also grateful thanks to all the students that I witnessed when I walked into your institution. Much has been said about vice chancellors and government institutions wanting to fly the national flag. But rare was it to see a private university do so proudly and willingly. And what gladdened my heart is that one moment when that flag was unfurled totally before it was risen. At that time, all I could hear in my ears was the cheering of your students. For me, for me, in that cheer lies the strength that is truly Indian. For those who cheer, I could not distinguish between you on the basis of gender. I could not distinguish between you on the basis of your religion, or your creed, or the region you belong to. But in that cheer together, you sounded as one nation. And today, as the HRD minister of the country, let me say it is you students that I proudly serve and I'm grateful for. Aaj ka ye karikram mere liye shayad mere karikal mein pehli private university hai jaha mein aana. मेरा आने से पहले एक ही प्रश्न था कितनी लड़कियां पढ़ती हैं <laughs> मैंने प्रशांत जी से रिकन्फर्म किया तो उन्होंने बड़ी प्राउडली मुस्कुराते हुए कहा सिक्सटी परसेंट आ गर्ल्स ऐसे पढ़ती तो है पढ़ाती कितना है <laughs> percent women teach. I think the best gift we can give to the country is this. The recent All India Survey of Higher Education tells us more and more women, girls, are getting into the higher education system. But very few of them find places as faculty members. I think this is a great tribute, Prashanji, to your own mother, who was a teacher and those working in your institution with you are women as well. That is the best gift. Trust me, I am the daughter of a female teacher as well. That is the best gift you could have given her. At the end, before I leave your presence, I am of the opinion that more and more women who are given impetus in the field of research more and more women, if given impetus and strength in the field of becoming educators, I think in their progress lies the progress of our country. Anybody who is into research in the social sector will be extremely pleased to undertake a study or possibly look at a study which transpired from the year 1970 to about 2009. This is a study undertaken in 219 nations. And in this over three decade and four decade long study, it was found that with one additional year of teaching of a girl in a reproductive age, the child mortality of that nation came down by 9.5%. So when we look at an education for women, when we look at giving opportunities to women in the faculty. We need to understand the emphatic evidence which presents itself that this is not a growth which is siloed to one sector, but this is a growth which will impact society and nation on a whole. Particularly before I rest my peace, my grateful thanks to the men who have served in the armed forces, but today, extend their service and serve 
in this very educational institution. Many of you might have gone into battle, possibly before many of us were born. Many of you might not get a grateful thanks from most of us. Many of you who wear your uniform today might in civilian clothes not even be recognized. But let me say on behalf of every Indian who is in this audience today, we are forever grateful for your sacrifices and service. And I particularly, as the HRD Minister, I'm extremely grateful that the management of Manav Rachna has ensured that your service is in continuum while you serve to strengthen the roots of education in our country. Jai Hind.